we are looking at the cheapest hero in the game. It's going to be 85 Rickon. Now, if you got him from the SBC, we'll talk about it at the end of the review. But that being said, he's 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, 3 star, 4 star, mostly explosive, right footed, can play cam, right mid, or center forward. Now, in terms of statistics, he's actually quite rounded, especially for a cam. Good acceleration, good sprint speed, very good finishing, good shot power, fantastic composure, fantastic short pass. Good agility and balance, but he is lacking defensively and, of course, in strength. Now, in terms of play styles, is where it really falls down. He's got Chip Shot Plus and Travella. Now, I like the Travella. Not a big fan of Chip Shot Plus. We have gone for an engine. We were to jump over to Footbin. The main reason to go for an engine is, obviously, to maximize that agility and balance, as well as the pace at the same time and a little bit of the passing. Now, the role that we're going to be using him in is going to be on the right-hand side, sort of coming in a little bit deep at times and coming into the middle of the field to attack. He definitely is suited to play as a cam, but I want to test him on that right-hand side to check out the Travellers and to be able to cross with him because crossing is very, very good. Now, some people are suggesting Shadow. I don't think it's worth the time of a Shadow. It's only going to get him up to 65 defending in the pace. If you wanted to really maximize that pace, you're obviously going to go for a Hunter and get the finishing up at the same time. But I think Engine is the def definitely the best one to go for in that scenario. Now, we are going to go jump into some gameplay and see how Rickon gets on. And then after that, we'll go back onto Footbin, talk about Kim Styles pricing, what I think you should be doing with the card, and how unlucky you've been if you've gone from an SPC. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So as mentioned, Rickon is going to be on the right-hand side in a 4-4-2. Now, he will rotate round with our centre mid, but I want to test out his Travellers on that right-hand side of his right foot. Not only that, to see how quick he is with mostly explosive and the pace acceleration he's got now from an engine, and of course his ability to cross on the ball with his passing being as high as it is. I do think the reason why he's so cheap is one, because it's Bundesliga and German, and two, he just doesn't have any really great play styles and very just averagely rounded stats. Now we get him on the ball here. Here is Rickon. You test out that pace straight away. So you can see there, that's how he's going to be sprinting in between. Trying to look for the play through here as Trent's decided to slide for no reason and we've managed to get a pass off. But that's where he's going to be playing anyway on that far right, sort of ducking into the box when we get a situation as it arises. Got Rickon driving through here. Do find him. Lovely pass in to Dan Juma. Lovely touch. Go back. Get Rickon on that edge. This is where we want him. He's gone for the left foot shot. One of the Traveller there. That's a shame. But you can see his link up play, what he's going to be doing for us. There's Rickon now. Got him behind. You can see there the pace against Luke Shaw. Just keeping on him, no problem. Go for that cross. Back. Oh, wow. What a cross. And equally, what a save. But this is why we got him here, because of that ability to cross. Now, we'll have a look at his set pieces. He doesn't feel very slow on the ball. I mean, he's got okay set pieces, not the best. So we won't take the corner with him. But he doesn't feel slow in those situations. And if he does get the space open, he can definitely play it in if we need him to. So if I'm wrecking here, turns. Can't quite get a shot off again, unfortunately. Strange animation from him there. Wrecking already running. I like that from him. Love a little one-two in. Good hold-up play. Now we've got the angle down this side. Again, Rickon at Tuck, we find him, we can. Hill to hill, gets away from one. Lovely cutback, got to shoot. And I don't know why he did not shoot first time. We should have had a two assists there. But you can see even the skill moves give him a little bit of pace boost off that mostly explosive accelerate type. Bad pass from our opponent, Rickon picks the ball up. Good dribble, oh, it's a good tackle. Bit weak there, it's a bit disappointing. Little one-two between Rickon and Kev. Got Rickon here, lovely run from him. Gets away with a skill. Lovely pass in. Surely an assist this time. And a wonder save again. But who's there? Rickon. Finds Kevin De Bruyne. Back to Rickon. Lovely touch in. Should to try and walk it in if we can. Takes too long to shoot. How have we not had a goal? I don't know. Should have had about two or three assists. And now possibly a goal with Rickon on this right-hand side. We will drop him into midfield in the second half of this game. So unlucky. Another day. That's a few goals there easily. Down the ball. Good control, pass one, using that RB dribble. Now we've got space open, we can sort of explode forward. 
Shoot green time and it's been saved. A very unlucky there. But you can see we're creating these spaces with him on that right-hand side just underneath my camera. And this is what I like about this car being able to play right mid. He's, he can open it up. Like I said, at half time we'll drop him into center mid roll so you can see how well he does there. But this card is slightly underrated in that sense. So do get a cross off. That's an absolutely outrageous pass but no one there again, unfortunately. Do pick him up on the edge. Travella. Oh, I thought I had it for once. I thought I had it. On the ball, he's going to drive to the edge. Good hold up play. Just hold it up for a minute. Oh, he's lost the strength there. That's a shame. Like I said, very weak. That's the only thing I'm really not liking about the card at the moment. But that's half time. We should have had about three assists and a goal with Rickon. He's been causing so many problems out that length. On that right-hand side, sorry. Because he's mostly explosive, he does get in behind. But his passing ability is absolutely fantastic, as you saw there. But we are going to swap him in now onto this left centre mid roll. We're going to bring on Diaz there to get some pace. So now he's going to be in the centre mid roll. More of a box-to-box -box cam S attacking roll, if you like. And just see how he gets on there. Now, I'm sure goals are going to be coming because we've been knocking on the door. And his ability to just run like here, for example, the RB dribble all the way through. He's just very good at doing that. Not only that, his animations are very good on left stick dribbles. You saw we weaved our way through the box, opened up some space, but unfortunately didn't get any outcome from it. If I'm wrecking here. Again, left stick dribble, fantastic little one, two. Oh, nearly had wrecking through there. But you can see the roll is going to be playing in the center mid roll now. Wrecking here. Great driven pass into the space. Now we've got the option at the bottom. We're going to wait for the overlap. There's Ricken now. One, two. Lovely pass in. Oh, Jao Pedro's been knocked off the ball. We do intercept. Rickon, oh, slight tackle to block that shot as well. Getting causing more problems now in the centre mid roll than he was out wide. Well, equally the same. Again, lovely right foot pass in. Nowhere to go again. The midfield, our defenders, or our opponents, sorry, so deep in defence. Rickon with the block on the shot. They're even doing a bit of defensive work, even though he should not really be there. But we'll take that if he's going to be there for us. Rickon, Travella, and there's the goal, finally. We use that Travella trait, or play style, sorry, and we get the goal, finally. We've been absolutely bombarding this door to open up to give us an assist or a goal, and we finally got it. Let's see if we can continue on now. Right, we do win the tackle back, though. Drag this midfielder out. We've got the easy pass through. We can get the pace. We can. He slid for us. Dan has got a bit of work to do. Oh, the skill move nearly worked. It's a shame. Lovely pass in between three players there. I reckon. We got him at the bottom here. Surely. Try to get away from the tackle. Not a problem. Reset the attack. Reset again. Trying to find a pass in. Reckon. Losing it up. Nowhere to go again. There is Reckon. And again, he swings the egg, but doesn't take the ball with him. That's so frustrating. He does that. Us. The great ball link. We win the header. We can. And again, a wonder save from the goalkeeper. Ricking on the ball here. Using the left stick dribble. Kevin De Bruyne in the Travella. And a good save again. Very unlucky. Again, should have had a couple assists here. Ricken. Very, very unlucky. Another day there going in. So the bad news is Ricken costs 21,000 coins. So if you have gotten from the SBC, I do feel very sorry for you. Comment down below. Let me know if that has been one of you guys. Uh, but the positives are he is not completely unusable. It obviously depends on many things, on your passing ability and your style of play. Now, we had him on the right-hand side, and we had an engine on him to really maximize that agility and balance as well as boosting the passing up. And I do think that's probably the best chem style for him if you're going to use him in more of a left stick sort of attacking way. So what I mean by that is in terms of a cam or attacking midfielder or even out wide like we did today in today's review. And you can just see what he offers you. His passing, because of how long... His passing is here in terms of 88, 81 and an 86 curl and 84 crossing with the engine. His crosses are absolutely perfect, as you saw. Super unlucky not to get some assists today with him. His finishing is 85, his shot power is 82. Now, we got a goal with him. I feel like his animation on shooting is what lets him down with his finishing department. Maybe another day he gets more goals for us, but for the day when I've been using him, not so much. He has got some of the worst playstyle pluses I've seen. Of course, having chip shot really doesn't mean anything. Unless your opponent's going to drag your keeper out, chip shot plus doesn't help you anyway. Do like Travella, and we did score with the Travella. Obviously, we're trying to force it a little bit on the edge of the box. But it doesn't have anything else to do with passing, which is a real shame for these statistics being so high in passing. But overall, he can play as a cam. He can play as a box-to-box -box center mid. Of course, you've got to be careful if he's defending. He can definitely play out right mid if you're playing in terms of like 
He attacks, but he sort of sits deep at the same time. So more of a box-to-box -box right mid if you're playing very, very compact and trying to hit your opponent on a counter. He's fantastic at that. But again, he's just not the best. And I think reason being is, is his body type's being average. He's 5'10". He's got no play styles. Two-star, three-star skill moves is just not really great either. Four-star weak foot's fantastic, but a lot of players have. And because he's 85 rated, there's just so many gold cards that are the same. But as always, if you have any more questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.